welcome. In this video I'll show you how to create a menu which will help us to navigate between our pages. To create a menu, uh, the best way is to use a simple table. So what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and start at the very top of the page and we'll insert a table. Now this table is going to have three cells. And uh, these cells um, are going to contain uh, references to our three pages. Now, uh, let's go ahead and uh, play a little bit with uh, the table properties. Oops. Oops. And uh, let's go ahead and change the uh, size of the border. So we'll reset the border to be zero. And what this will do is it'll actually hide uh, the uh, cell outlines. So our menu is actually going to appear as links at the top of the page. Now you might want to resize or maybe you may want to have your table um, aligned to the right side of the screen. That's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and stick with this layout. And here we'll go ahead and type in home for the, for the home link. We'll go ahead and type in uh, Word for the Word page and Excel for our third page. Perhaps we can consistently go ahead and reduce it. I'll keep the same, uh, the same uh, uppercase and lowercase size. So let's go ahead and create the first link to the Microsoft Word page. We'll click on the link button and now we are going to select index 2 which happens to be our Word page and press OK. Let's do the same with Excel. We're going to go to the link page and to select index 3. Notice that there are no directories preceding index 3. That's very important because we want to make sure that uh, our page index 3 HTML is in the same directory so that when we publish it, it's going to look okay. And finally, the home page is going to be the same main page that we are currently on. Okay, so now this menu is consistent. We'll make sure that this menu appears the same way on all the other pages. Uh, and that's what users are, are accustomed to, is for menus to be consistent. To do that, we'll go ahead and highlight the table. We'll go ahead and uh, press uh, Copy. And now we'll include the same menu on the two other pages. Okay, let's save this. We have now pages with the menus. And let's preview this content. Now you can just press the browse button and this is going to open uh, some default uh, browser on your computer or you can publish the website and then preview it some and then preview it there uh, at your URL. So at this point we have my initial page with our nice picture and now we can navigate to the word page, to the Excel page, and to home. Now remember please that at this point you are testing this page on your own computer. So if these images are not coming from your current directory, they're coming from the pictures folder somewhere, it will work on your computer. Once you publish it, it will not work. So you want to make sure that uh, at certain points within this project, you actually do tests from your published website. Okay, so in this uh, short tutorial, we uh, created a menu which allows us to reference the three pages that we have within our project. Thank you.